Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, happy new year and uh, we are really excited to announce uh, first course of 2022 on uh, devtechy.com. So uh, this course is about uh, iOS 15 widget kits. So basically building widgets for your iOS 15 apps in SwiftUI 3. So, um, so I just want to give you a quick uh, demo of uh, what the course is gonna cover and uh, if you if you'd like to uh, find out more uh, check the description below and uh, basically or visit uh, www.devtechy.com and uh, find out more about it okay so let me show you the demo um, so we're gonna be uh, in this course we're gonna be building seven widgets end to end and uh, we're gonna learn all uh, about widget kit and uh, we're gonna be using iOS 15 and SwiftUI okay uh, SwiftUI 3 um, so uh, this is uh, the demo app that uh, we're going to be creating and uh, uh, we're going to start with a simplest widget uh, which is going to be displaying some message so here hello dev uh widget that we're going to display and uh, you can take this widget add it to your uh, to your um, home screen and or your user scan and uh, uh, then they can actually uh, view the message or uh, moving on from there uh, we're gonna learn about uh, building a calendar widget and this calendar widget is uh, gonna be uh, displaying the calendar and the uh, current date also update updated time so you're gonna learn about like you know how to uh, reflect uh, recent updates so basically fetch data uh, apply that update and uh, display that um, periodically within the widget okay so you're gonna be like you know learning about timelines and stuff like that uh, by building out this calendar widget from there on you're gonna uh, build uh, this famous quotes app which is gonna display famous quotes uh, from a JSON uh, API basically uh, uh, an API where you're gonna uh, get fetch the uh, JSON uh, format um, uh, quote uh, and then uh, basically display that within the widget so you get, you're gonna learn Learn how to make network calls uh, using a uh, widget kit in um, and then display that on your on your widget okay uh, from uh, there uh, we're gonna aim like you know increase the complexity a bit and we're gonna learn about widget families so like you know um, basically widget comes uh, in uh, three or four uh, different sizes so three different size for iOS and four different size for iPad and you're gonna learn about how to basically render your content depending upon what um, uh, family uh, uh, there is that user is interested in. For example, is it small, is it medium, or is it uh, large? And extra large in case of iPad OS, okay? So uh, you're gonna basically once again build a complete weather widget end-to-end uh, -end, uh, fetching weather data from uh, an API and display that and also periodically update this information. Um, and uh, you're gonna build uh, basically this UI, uh, which is gonna depend upon what kind of family the widget is being displayed on, okay? Uh, from there on, uh, we're gonna learn about uh, app resource sharing and uh this is basically uh this 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 section of the uh, course is going to focus on how you can add a widget to your existing app and all the resources that you have created for your app how you can reuse them and you're also gonna learn to build this uh, cool graph from scratch in SwiftUI okay so that's gonna be uh, another widget uh, from there uh, you're gonna learn about uh, basically resource uh, from resource sharing you're gonna learn about passing data uh, from your app to the widget so basically uh, like let's say you have like a reminder app and you've added like you know two reminders uh, into um, into your app and now you're adding third reminder uh, your widget is going to display those reminders dynamically as it reads the information back from the app so app is going to share and app is going to take control of like you know notifying the widgets about the new uh, update that has just happened so widget can update itself okay so you're going to learn about that in this uh, by building this widget and then you're going to learn about configurable widgets like user configurable widgets where a uh, user can basically 
take a widget and uh, add some configuration uh, options depending upon like you know what they would like to see for example this is an expense widget that you're going to build and you can use your user can basically come in and uh, say okay i don't want to see all expenses but i want to see food expenses and they can select that and it's going to show the food expenses or they want to see both okay so in that case they can just go uh, back to the widget gallery and uh, add themselves another uh, version of uh, expense and uh, they can basically say okay I want to see my rent expenses as well and they'll add two widgets right there or they can add all of them so you're gonna learn to build like you know how to provide this user configurability option with your widgets in the widget kit okay this is all once again in uh, ios 15 and swift ui 3 so if you're interested in uh, the course uh, please uh, sign up and uh, visit www.devtechy.com uh, for more information or check out the description below uh, thank you once again uh, like and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video thank you